Hello guys, welcome to our another video. Yeah. And this time we are in Lithuania. Woo! And it's capital Vilnius. This is our third destination for Vlogmas. And this time we are in my home country. So let's see what uh, what we find here. So <laughs> stay tuned. Uh, seeing from the distance the Christmas tree. Beautiful. Excuse me, excuse me. Do you speak yes. English? Yes, I do. I do. Can you explain me why it has the shape of a cake, this Christmas tree? Yeah, I get this question a lot. And next year, Vilnius will cel celebrate its 700th anniversary. And the city of Vilnius decided to combine Christmas and cake, meaning the uh, birthday of Vilnius. It's only 29 days and 705 hours to celebrate Vilnius 700th anniversary. So they have a count uh, machine here. <laughs> yeah, you can just sit here and watch yeah. this clock all day. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, no, but it's uh, cool, you know. Yep. Looking forward. because it's super cold now first we're gonna get some Lufainian food in Lufainian restaurant how beautiful it looks from the distance wow definitely we're gonna come back later when we finish to have lunch to see what we can get from this Christmas market oh I love the tree I really love it I mean guys look at this decoration I mean, it's other level, really. I mean, I love it. I want a picture here. So, my photographer is gonna take me a picture. I am a professional photographer. <laughs> and look at this decoration, guys. It's so beautiful. More decoration, guys. Look at that. Restaurant called Edno Varas, right? Yeah, the... <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, we're gonna go downstairs because we enter in this restaurant and look how it looks like. Tell me something about this restaurant. Do you well, want to say something? I've been here very long time ago. Hope that food is just as good now as it was back then. So I personally gonna order tepeline. This is traditional Lithuanian food. It's um, big potato dumplings filled with meat with some uh, sour cream sauce. If you ever come here, definitely try it. It's, you're not gonna regret it. Let's check the menu. Yeah. As, as um, say the cepellini is one of the most traditional dishes here in Lithuania. Um, but there is a lot of variety also uh, dishes. Um, so you can check, for example, uh, this soup. Like it's like a beetroot soup. But what I uh, learned about this is like you eat it mostly in the summer, right? Because it's a cold Beetroot, soup. yes. It's a small you do in summer. Yeah. And you can come and check. Again, the camera is foggy. Sorry. 
guys, this is Quas, or better known in Lufania as Gira. This is the traditional drink over here. So I would definitely recommend to get one of these and get one that is made inside the restaurant because in the shop it's not as good as, as it's made fresh. So, cheers guys! This is Capitadona, uh, it's a fried bread and it's one of the snacks that you have to try here in Lufania. Super delicious and my wife can confirm that. This is Cepelina, a Lufania traditional dish which is simply a potato dumpling filled with meat. Can I ask you uh, a Ukrainian dish? Uh, it calls Kiev Kotlet uh, is super nice. and chocolate with some powder sugar on top of it and it's super delicious. This is Noe and she's dancing like summer. Guys, look at the hotel, the entrance. Wow. So beautiful. Oh, this must be <laughs> oh, it feels so Christmassy. This is incredible. I see in the middle of a snowstorm. Yeah. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Installation for the occasion of uh, that will start in 700 years next year. That looks really cool. We are in the city hall here in Vilnius. So, can you explain us what it means this figure of the wolf? Years ago, Grand Duke of Lofenia, Gediminas, during one of the, his hunting trips, dreamed of Iron Wolf on top of the hill, howling at the moon. And that event basically inspired him to build a city here. So, thanks to him, now we have Vilnius, a very beautiful city here in Europe. So, thanks to his dream of Iron Wolf, now we can enjoy uh, sites like this. Okay. 
guys, what I really, really love about Lithuanian people is like they are very cheerful. Um, doesn't matter if this, if if it's happening this uh, heavy weather because it's very snowy. You could see the kids um, playing, you know, like uh, coming out with the sledges, and it's very beautiful to see. We are in uh, President's Palace backyard. So this is like uh, uh, filled with Christmas decorations. It looks super nice, and it's open to public. So it's uh, really cool that uh, Lithuanian government allows that. <laughs> so to for everyone to enjoy these <laughs> moments. Yeah, look at that. It's so beautiful. Wow. See you in the next time. See you guys. Thank you. Bye.